Hey y'all, Irick Scott here, back again with another uh, cruise tip. Now, we're in the Cayman Islands. If you haven't been to the Cayman Islands, you're probably not accustomed to the beer and liquor price shop. The way that Duty Free works here is that you get it if you're getting, if you're cruising here, when you leave port, they give it to you on the cruise ship, so you can't consume it on land. But when you're coming to Grand Cayman, what you bring is what you have without having to buy Duty Free. So staying on the island, had to buy a little bit of liquor and it was very, very high because it was not duty free. When we leave, we could take it back duty free, but you can't buy it on island for consumption on island duty free. So, uh, being the uh, the expert of you know, drinking cheap on a cruise ship and drinking cheap on uh, in, in other scenarios, golf courses and whatnot, I've continued the series and it's how to drink cheap on Seven Mile Beach in Grand Cayman. Now this, this example is applicable to Seven Mile Beach, but you can probably twist it and work with other uh, work with other areas on Grand Cayman as well. But what I do, I go into a resort such as the Westin and I eat lunch. Because you know, you do get hungry. Their prices are about the same. It's what you're gonna pay for a local type lunch. Uh, food down here is high. But I always get some water. And even if you don't want to eat lunch, you can just get water, but it, it kind of looks cheap, really cheap, if you just go in there and ask for a glass of water. But if you sit down and eat, and then you're like, hey, could I have water to go? And you get your water, then you got your beer cup for the rest of the day. Now, how do you do the cooler solution? Because they are very adamant about no coolers down here. So, uh, there's a store in Georgetown, it's called Caribbean Canvas Company. And you'll find it, it's in Georgetown. It's also in Kamana Bay, which is right across from the Weston and the Ritz. But they've got these bags in there. They look like a beach bag, but they're insulated. And they come in a 24 pack size, a 12 pack and a six pack size. It's gonna set you back US dollars for the 24 pack, probably around 60 bucks. But that's, that's gonna be your best investment for the week because, you know, even if it was a little bit more than 60, you're still, you're gonna have the convenience of having your uh, your beer of choice with you. Now what I would recommend, I would recommend the K-Light, the K-Brew, the White Tip, those are the local beers. They're gonna be a little less expensive. What you can also do if you don't wanna go the beer route, you can bring, I think, a liter of liquor per person from, from your home country. So what we did, we brought rum. So if you come down here and go to the grocery store and buy Pepsi, keep in mind on the island, uh, Coca-Cola products are very limited and very expensive. But you get Pepsi or you get you some Ting, which is from Jamaica. U.S. price of a 20 ounce uh, soda bottle of Ting is gonna set you back about a little bit over a dollar, which is well worth it. Mix that up with some rum, you got a good drink. Pour your uh, pour your beers in a, uh, in a hotel cup, you're good to go. And, th and that's the thing, a lot of people that, I mean obviously if I wanted to pay for stuff, I could. But I'm cheap, and the reason I'm cheap is that the money that I've saved on this trip, I bought all kinds of cool experiences. I've done all kinds of, uh, you know, I've, I'm going to Stingray City, and I've I've gone kayaking and seen bioluminescence, and and I've uh, ridden a horse in the ocean, and I bought a bunch of T-shirts that are cool, and all of that is stuff that otherwise, and I don't drink that much, but otherwise would have just been spent on alcohol prices. And that's what I'm saying. If you if you want to know how to drink cheap, follow my advice and and share this video and any of my videos with others. Be sure if you haven't watched already to check out how to drink cheap on a cruise ship because that's a very effective method that that I've uh, used several times. So if you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so.